no one who reads this report, whether uh, all or in part, can be unaffected. Bishop David Zupik is responding to a landmark report that 99 priests abused children while in ministry with the Diocese of Pittsburgh. And the list of parishes where the priests serve reaches every corner of the diocese, and the impact of today's revelation is touching Catholics throughout the region. John Shumway is live tonight with reaction from the Catholic faithful. John. Yeah, this isn't a situation where people didn't know this was coming. We've all known this was coming for some time. Even uh, in recent weeks, knowing the number of priests in the local area who were involved. But it's one thing to know it's coming. It's another to be faced with the disheartening reality in full. It's hard to quantify the sadness you could feel among the Catholic faithful today. I'm sure I'll not be able to relate to you the emptiness that's in my heart this day. Huh? I can't even reach down deep enough to bring it out. But Father John Marcucci at St. Mary's downtown did his best to put the day into perspective. Not necessarily worried about all those priests. You know, they stand before God. That'll be their judgment. But certainly in some way looking out to all those victims. We can never make it up. None of us. Among the faithful, there is a desire. I hope it's a healing point. I hope it, you know, maybe this will stop. I don't know. In many ways, today is just the black and white revelation of what has been suspected and whispered about for years. It's sad if it's the truth, but it's the way it, it's the way it was back then. Everything was secretive and then, now it's all coming out. Is that a good thing? Not how it was handled, no. Everything should have been up front to begin with. There is little compassion for the offenders, but it overflows for the victims. Especially due to who it's against, you know, little children. People were supposed to be taken care of. And there's not much tolerance for those named still being in service to the church. That's what they need to get moving on this. So it'll be interesting to see what they do and how they do and how fast they rectify the situation. Sister Patrice Hughes hopes that her fellow Catholics will see through the cloud of disgust. Put your energies on the 90% who are going in the right way. Don't be eaten up by the 10% who do all the wrong things. What does another priest in this diocese like myself say? Compassion in my heart's not big enough. The ugliness I feel is not deep enough to reach out to all those victims and what has happened to them. You know, clearly Father Marcucci uh, touched a chord with the people who were here today. And at one point during his homily, he said, there are not enough prayers to take away all the pain that's been inflicted. Live downtown, John Shumway, KDKA TV News.